evening on this glorious Sunday afternoon. It's uh, the 27th, it's about 6 o'clock, it's been a lovely day, nice blue skies, it's uh, a bit uh, fluffy clouds going on and I've been stuck in YouTube hell, you know how it is. You start watching one video and then you watch the next and the next and the next and the next and then it's an hour. So instead of watching videos, I decided I'd come and make a video. Today's video is another freeform one. Um, I have some film lined up that I've recorded when I was doing the solar eclipse recently and um, I'll, I'll queue that up for another time. But in the in meantime, my, my selection of sweets downstairs had been running a bit low. Uh, it was December we bought the stuff and, you know, um, growing boy and all that. So I decided to order a bunch of sweets. There's a place out on the west coast, uh, the British shop. British and German, I believe, or Indian and Ger British, or whatever it is, anyway, um, out on the West Coast. So I put together an order and decided that this would be a two-fold video. It would be an unboxing, I've not done one of those, and it would be uh, a, a video of, of sweets that I like, candies as, as they are known here, that I like, that aren't chocolate. And I did that last time, the Galaxies and the Mars Bars and the, and the, and the Dairy Milk. So this box actually arrived yesterday. I had not thought it was going to come um, until middle of next week, but lo and behold, there he is, guy from UPS, and there's a box. And actually, this is the box in question. So it doesn't look very much, um, but most of the stuff that I bought was either singles or, um, and yes, I'm looking down because my phone is down there and the thing has cut off, um, are either singles or they're small stuff um, and it's either hard pressed sweets like the Smarties that they have here um, or jelly based or that kind of idea gelatinous based sweets so without further ado let's uh, let's get to slicing the box and what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep it on my lap and remember play with scissors closed um, and pull them out one at a time and explain what they are and and all of that kind of good stuff. So here goes nothing. All right. So glorious bill of bill of goods. Return policy. Yeah, no, I'm not going to return any of this anytime soon. So it's called the International Food Shop. They're not related. There's no sponsorship or any of that kind of idea. It's just where I bought the stuff from. And there's a few in here. So without further ado, we'll rip out some. Padding. We'll get to the first item. Maynard's wine gums. This is one of those jelly type, solid jelly type things. And they do taste of, of it's not actually wine, it's fruit flavoured. So yeah, I like these. These are a good sort of thing to sneak into a cinema and uh, and and go and play with. The next one is a little bit of an acquired taste. Um, there we go. Licorice all sorts. As the name suggests, they are uh, based on licorice. Licorice all sorts, fantastic stuff. Wife hates them, I love them. Jelly Tots. These were a childhood sweet that I used to love. These are, or still do, these are again another jelly. So these are like hardened jelly, same way that the uh, Maynards were and they've got sugar coating on top. Ooh. So this bag, this particular bag, has got a number of things in, so we'll do one of each, because once you've seen one, you don't need to see them all. So this is something called Love Hearts. And I'm just, you know, I know I keep looking down, but I'm trying to work out where you are. And these are very much like uh, Smarties, in that they are pressed powder type um, sweets and they are fruit flavoured sweets and I love them. I only bought one tube though because you know what one is enough. Brings brings back good memories. Um, fruit pastels. M Round trees fruit pastels. So these are another jelly type sweet. Fairly similar in, in consistency to the of the jelly tot. And of course because I'm slow I never realised, or I didn't put together, the fact that they're made by the same company. So I would suspect that these are just bigger versions of those. Yeah, I like them. I'll eat them. 
So I am going to hold that up. So this is a Swizzlers double lolly and it's another pressed powder type thing and this is uh, a double lolly so there's two flavors there's a purple flavor and a yellow flavor and it's man-made sweets so who knows what the flavors are and who cares and it's one of these things that you can chomp on them and chew them but you can also just suck them and they're fantastic and I love those kind of things now these these sherbet fountains and again, I will take some pictures and get some close-ups at the end. These are not quite as I remember them from childhood. These are a bit more solid. The way that I used to remember them in childhood was that this was open as paper and the actual sweet itself was um, exposed and you would undo the paper and pull the sweet out. But what is it, you ask? Well, it's called a sherbet fountain. It is effectively what it says on the name. It is uh, a tube with sherbet in it, and then a stick of, um, or yeah, a stick of uh, licorice, and you lick the licorice and you dab it in the the powder, and then we move on to the mint imperials. These are mints. So these are um, hard coated, almost like. Um, uh, m m type things they've got a coating on the outside and then the mint in the inside and they're great for sucking on back to another Maynard's Bassett's uh, product um, wine pastels I don't really remember buying these but uh. and these are actually I do remember buying these these are probably wine gums the same maker wine pastels the slightly rounder version of that product so that's what that one is and then the last thing in the selection so the last thing on the list is uh, oh it's making my mouth water I love these things Roundtree's fruit gums so I think these are very these are this kind of idea um, but a lot more solid and no sugar on top and they're actually sectioned out into nine sections so the the sweet itself is has nine dimples on which is pretty good for chewing the things you can suck them until there's nothing there or you can chew them well i think that's it for now i haven't checked to see if there are any questions um if you have a question and i there you go i can't lose this time up there somewhere is an ask uncle dave um if you enjoyed the video thumbs up leave a comment subscribe Hit the uh, notification icon. Sometimes these will be weekly, sometimes they'll be bi-weekly. Depends on what I've got going on and what else is going on. And obviously, and honestly, if you didn't like the video, leave a comment. Let me know why. And hopefully we can improve these things. Anyway, so thanks a lot. See you later.